What's up guys? Big road trip adventure for this video. Today guys, I'm heading up to Tobermory, Ontario. We're not exploring, we're not doing abandoned places. Today guys, we're gonna go and we're gonna spend the weekend on Flower Pot Island. If you don't know what Flower Pot Island is, it's an island up in Tobermory in Bruce Peninsula of Ontario, Canada. And you can go there and you can take a ferry boat over there as a tourist and spend the day but they also have six campsites available, which are very hard to get. And guess who managed to get one? This guy. So we're gonna spend the weekend, but first we gotta go to Bruce Peninsula National Park. We're gonna spend the night there. We're gonna go see the Grotto, which is one of the most beautiful cave rock formations in the province. We're gonna go check that out. And then in the morning, I'm gonna take you guys through the process required to get your permits, to get your tickets, take the ferry, go over to Flower Pot Island and we're gonna spend the weekend. We're gonna check it out, guys. Flower Pot Island all weekend. You, me, and whoever else is staying. So, cue the music, cue the intro. See you guys there. Portions of this video were lit using the new Thru-Night Archer Pro version two flashlight a high performing but small everyday carry flashlight with a beam as bright as almost 1000 lumens. Weighing only 65 grams, the 950 lumens beam shines as far as 187 meters or 613 feet. See the link in my video description and get yourself this high performing flashlight that takes up no room at all for just $24.99. Good morning guys. Pretty good night last night. Set up in my car, my hotel Kia. Took me a while to fall asleep. I was gonna get up a lot earlier, shoot the sunrise, but it's really hazy and cloudy. A lot of haze from the forest fires still, so I wouldn't have had a sunrise, unfortunately. So I got to sleep in a little bit. So now we're gonna go to the grotto. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna take some pictures, explore it around a little bit and then make our way back. It's about a 20 minute walk from the campground I'm at to the grotto. So let's, uh, let's go check out the grotto, guys. What's up, guys? So we, have, we are in one of the caves. I'm not in the main grotto yet. I don't know if I can uh, get in there safely at this point, but anyways, I'll show you guys what I'm inside right now. So out there, there's the bay right there. And every once in a while, you get a big uh, blast of water that hits and comes on inside. And then there's this big cave here that's been carved over many, 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 many years. So I'm just taking some pictures in here because it's a pretty cool space. Then I'm going to head out and see if I can get into the big main grotto. Hopefully I can. I'm alone, so I don't want to take too many risks, okay? So here we go, guys. Let's keep going.
see guys, so where we are now is this is like a stony rock beach kind of place where in nicer weather you can come and go swimming. Um, my wife and I actually came here swimming a couple years ago. It's really, really refreshing because the water's so green. I'll show you here. I believe when we were here, the water was probably a bit higher and the waves were not so uh, crashy, but it's a great place to come and swim. So the grotto is just up there somewhere. And, but then you'll pass this beach on the way in and you can come down here in nicer weather and go in for a dip. Pretty nice guys. Before you can head to Flower Pot Island, you have to visit the Parks Canada Visitor Center to obtain your permits. From there, you'll head to your ferry office to get your tickets and show them your camping permit. All of this must be booked and taken care of online prior to the day you arrive. The ferry ride to Flower Pot Island takes roughly 30 to 45 minutes, and along the way, the glass bottom boat will take you over several of the shipwrecks found in the water. Once you arrive on the island and disembark, the campsites are to the left, just past the public bathrooms. Okay guys, we're off the boat on the island. Now we're gonna go to the campsites, which are really, as soon as you get off the boat, go to the left, I'll show you. So this here, site number six in there and I'm number two up here so just a quick short little jaunt hopefully pretty rocky but that's okay because it's not very long to get there I think the sites are pretty close together so Okay, we're almost there, guys. Here's site three, and I can see my site just up ahead. Let's go. So it looks like there's a there's a bathroom right there, and then a bit of a lookout right here. That's cool. And then here's site two, guys. Here we go. This is me. I got a picnic table. I got a thing to put my tent on and got a nice view. Oh, that's good. Okay guys, let's get set up. Stay here for two days. Okay guys, so I got my camping site all set up. I got my tent going here. I'll just turn the camera around and show you guys what we got here, what I did. So there's my platform with my tent. I put a black tarp on top for some extra shade. Also in case it rains to let the uh, water run off the back so my tent doesn't stay all wet. On the left hand side there, I, got a, I brought a towel because as you can see behind me, there's water. I'm on an island so I can go swimming if I want. And then on the right hand side, I've got a, a, a food box so I can safely secure my food and not have to worry about the animals getting it. I can also put my spare gear inside there. And uh, so what I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm gonna eat. So what I have here is my camp fuel, my camp stove, boiling water. I'm boiling, boiling 500 milliliters of water. And I'm gonna have myself some noodles and beef. I've had this for quite a while. My favorite dish, is the spaghetti. This is my all time favorite camping dish, but I'm gonna save that for later. I also brought myself some oatmeal. And uh, let's see, I got coffee, a couple different types of coffee. I got some eggs for breakfast. 
all kinds of stuff. I got my mug here. I brought two small canisters. These ones have not been used yet. I've got this one that I've already used, so we're gonna get that one going. So, so it's gonna take about 15 minutes to cook the food that I'm eating, and it's probably gonna take about 10 minutes for the water to boil. So I'm starving, but I'm not eating for like another half an hour. So I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna chill, and then after I eat, we're gonna go do a little bit of a tour of the island, and I'll show you guys what's going on on Flower Pot Island. Okay, so here's the thing right now. Um, so I'm at site number two which is the second farthest site. And the problem is that if you look right behind me, there's that little outlook thing right there. Well, every person or people or group that walks by this site has to go stand there and go, ooh, ah, and get all excited. Now, site number one to my left is not that much farther, but I feel like site number one would be better if you're able to pick your choice of site, site one would be better because you're farther away from that. So that's what I think, that, that's what I have to say about that. Okay, let's see if lunch is ready. It's been 15 minutes. I'm eating noodles and beef. Okay, a delicious and hearty mix of noodles and beef and a stroganoff style mushroom sauce. Okay, I just spilled some, so that's not good. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna have to clean that somehow. Pour it in my bowl here, guys. I have a bowl, see? All right, so I'm gonna break this up a little bit. The good thing about this bowl is I can eat some of this and then I can put my lid on it and then have some more later. So as you saw, the noodles just came out in a big hunk. So I'm gonna break those up a little bit. Then I'm gonna let it sit for a while. Let's just have another bite. Mm. Okay guys, so last time we, we spoke, I was eating my lunch. Well, after I ate my lunch, I had a huge nap right behind me here in my tent. Now I'm rested and I'm excited, ready to go. It is uh, six o'clock. I think the last tour boat uh, comes either 6 or 6.30. So we're gonna go to the boat dock and we're gonna see if there's still people here because pretty soon we'll have the island to ourselves. I also wanna see how many people are camping here tonight because site number uh, one over there is empty. There's nobody there. So I'm curious to see if I'm by myself tonight or how many people I'll be hanging out with. So let's go for a walk. I'm gonna check out the boat dock and then we're gonna walk around the island, guys. Show you guys what's up. Let's go. Okay, we got neighbors at site three. All right, so there's one group right here. Just a small group because it's just one small tent like mine. Okay. Oh, I see a tent over on site. I guess that would be, uh, so on site one, on site two, this is site three. There's somebody at site four. I can see, you can see the green tent just go through there, you can see green tent. So we got me, two other groups. Okay, and there's a group at this site here, number six. Didn't see if there's anybody at five. So, so far I see uh, three other groups that are here tonight. Okay, so this here is the other bathroom. So there's a smaller bathroom over by where I'm uh, camping. And this is a bigger bathroom, okay. But there's no running water though. All right. And here we got a map of the tour of the trails. So here's where we are right there. And then my site is right over here by that bathroom. So there's a trail that continues on from where I'm camping down to there. And then there's the green trail that goes up around the flower pots. And then there's a black trail that goes through here. I almost want to do the entire perimeter of the island tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah, so there's one more tour boat to come to get rid of these people here. So we can have the rest of the night to ourselves, guys. Okay? 
kind of excited to have the island to myself tonight, guys. Because, man, the tourist people were loud today. So the sun's going to set on the other side of the island. Hmm. Okay. Which means the sun's going to rise this way. So I'll get a good sunrise tomorrow, hopefully. All right, we're gonna go down and see the smaller of the two flower pots. Okay, I think the small one's down here. Yeah, there it is. There it is, guys. You can also see the forming of others over here. So this where I'm standing right now used to be uh, filled in with rock. And so if you look straight ahead, if you can see, hold on a second. So if you look straight ahead, you can see what would, what will be the base eventually of uh, other flower pots. But Given the fact that the water levels are not as high as they used to be, these will probably never become flower pots. But if you look here, there you go. And let me just zoom back out here. There we go. So yeah, this is the smaller of the two. Look off in the distance, that's the bigger one. Let me go over there in a minute. We can actually walk the rocky beach all the way to the other flower pot. We don't have to go back in on the uh, on the trail. So let's do that. Okay guys, so one of the stupider things that I like to do sometimes is leave my camera all alone while I take off and do other things while there's also other people here. So knowing that there's only a few people on the island and I've got it kind of tucked away, I feel like I'm okay here. So what I've done is I've got my camera set up and I've got a small through night Archer Pro version two flashlight right here. And I have it on what's called firefly mode, which is a very, very subtle light so that when I come back to see it, I'll be able to see the camera where it is. And if somebody comes this way when it's dark, they'll see the light there. So I'm gonna shoot a time-lapse sequence of day to night, hopefully of the Milky Way coming over the sky. So we're gonna leave that for four hours and I'm gonna come back a little bit later and check on it. So let's go check out the rest of the island while this happens. So how about we head down to the beach and we'll take a look at the flower pot, the large one from down below. Ah, there it is, right there. That's nice, eh? Just saying hi, guys. 
Pretty impressive, eh? Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little cove right here. The water looks so fresh and so clear. I'm definitely, I don't care how cold it is, but I'm definitely going in the water at some point this weekend. It's gonna be cold, but it's gonna be so refreshing too. See, look at that. Look at how nice and clear the water is. Holy cow. Yeah, I think tomorrow I'm gonna to just try and walk the entire perimeter of the island as much as I can. I don't know if he actually can or not. That's what I wanna to do tomorrow, guys. I'm here all day tomorrow and tomorrow night and then I leave on Sunday. Today's Friday, if you're wondering. There's the top of the big flower pot right there, guys. All right. I gotta tell you guys, I am loving it here all by myself. I know there's other people here, but without all the other tourists and stuff, it's so nice to just have the island to yourself. Highly recommend this, guys. Holy cow, it's so nice. Let's uh, keep walking. All right, so let's see where we're at versus where we started, guys, okay? So, uh, I am camping right here. And we started right here where I started filming. And we have now walked all the way up, small flower pot, large flower pot. And now I've gone all the way through here and now we're up here at the light station. So we're gonna go up there and then we're gonna be able to see the sun setting. All right, let's go. Uh, Check it out, guys. So years ago, guys, when there was a lighthouse here, this house right here was the home of the uh, the lighthouse keeper or whatever they called them. And the lighthouse was, uh, you can't see it right now, but the lighthouse was over there beyond the trees. That was their boathouse. This was the lighthouse keeper's house. And this would have been like their assistance house, like the helpers right there. This is probably a helicopter pad for when people hurt themselves and stuff. Yeah, so after they closed down the lighthouse and they were no longer needed anymore, they said that these were actually left abandoned and they were all run down. And then a group of volunteers came by and they redid them and made them look all nice and painted them. And uh, this one here is a museum now. And that's it, guys. That's what's going on here, okay? That's why there's these buildings here. Not a bad place to live, eh? If you ask me. Wow. So it's 7 p.m. right now. Sun doesn't set till nine. So there's still two hours before the sun sets. So I actually have time to walk around a bit more and then maybe come back and see the sunset from here. I don't want to sit here for two hours, guys. That's a long time to just hit, be sitting here, you know?
What's up guys? So it's uh, it's about midnight right now. And uh, I mentioned earlier in the video that I'm using this new flashlight that I got sent. It's the Through Night Archer Pro version two. And so right now I'm wearing it on my hat because it's got a clip on it. So you can clip it on your hat or your hard hat or your helmet or whatever. So I've been using this all weekend and I wear it on my hat when I'm setting up my camera settings and I put it on what's called firefly mode. And that's like a really, really light mode. So you don't get that really, really bright blinding light while you're doing stuff. So if I'm doing stuff in the dark, I just put this flashlight on firefly mode on the brim of my hat, like I have it right now. And then I can set my camera settings. I can change lenses and I have basically both of my hands free to do whatever I want. Just like right now, I'm carrying stuff in my right hand and I'm carrying my camera in my left hand. So both my hands are free because I got the camera, or both my hands are free because I have the flashlight on the brim of my hat. So right now I have it on the, on the turbo mode, which is the highest, brightest mode. So I can see, it's really dark. So super cool flashlight and uh, so they sent me this to try. So if you guys like the way it sounds, you like the way it looks, pick one up for yourselves. There's a link in the video description to pick you guys up. The Through Night Archer Pro version two. It's really small, but super powerful. And I'll have some more information about the flashlight in the video description. So trying to get back to my camera, shooting the time-lapse right now of the Milky Way. So. Uh, See you guys back here in a bit. After a late night of shooting time-lapse videos and taking photos, I retired back to my campsite for the night in a quiet, peaceful, undisturbed sleep. In the morning, the first tour boat arrives at around 9.30 a.m. and it drops off or picks up tourists all day long. Today, my goal will be to find a part on the island where there are no people around. Okay guys, so I'm on my trip around the island and where I'm at currently, there, there's a lot of no going on here. I don't want all of the people. This is why I'm going on off parts of the island where most people, my beard is getting very gray. This is why I go to parts of the island where the people don't go, because I don't want to be around people, guys. All right, so I'll show you where we're gonna go. We're gonna go way back there, past all the people. See that back there? Okay. All right. Away from these people. Okay, so I'm over here now, guys. People are all over there. And I'm here now. Ah, that's better. All right guys, so, all right guys, we're still here and I'm in the middle of the island right now. Well, not in the middle of it, but, so I showed you guys last night, the lighthouse, so the, the house is over there. So I'll show you guys where we're at. So there's, there's the light, the, it's not actually a lighthouse, it's a light tower. And so that's where the buildings are. So I made myself, made my way around there and now I've hiked across these rocks here on this rocky beach. And then I'm gonna make my way around that way. And I know for sure that way there's nothing. Like there's no touristy stuff that way. I don't know how much I can get around, but I'm just gonna keep going and see what we can find. So let's take a quick break. I'm gonna drink some water, cool off a bit. Then we're gonna keep going. See you guys over there. So yeah, so I've been hanging out here for about an hour and a bit by myself. Made my way, I mean, I don't know. I hiked over some pretty big rocks to get where I am. I can't get all the way around the island. I'm kind of bummed about that, but 
it's pretty it's pretty tough to do. I'm sure it can be done, but I'd have to do it wearing pants and more appropriate uh, clothes because there's poison ivy, probably some ticks. And as you can see, I'm just wearing shorts and a tank top today, so I'm not really appropriately dressed to go digging around and hiking deep into the woods here. So anyways, I just been hanging out here. I'll turn the camera around, make it a little wider here. So just been hanging out on these rocks, sunbathing, drinking water, having some food, nice blue crystal clear water. It's way too cold to go in. I've tried twice to go in the water and it's like jumping into a bucket of ice water. It's so cold. So yeah. But anyways, I hang out here a bit longer and then go back to the island, back, back into the island and hang out a bit more. So show you guys a little bit more of the island later. I'm going to chill out. On Saturday night, the last ferry left at 7.30 p.m., which I was not prepared for as I thought I would be alone by 6 o'clock p.m. So here I am shooting a time-lapse sequence while the island is still full of people. I made my way to the lighthouse area, and finally, at 7.30 p.m., I was alone to enjoy the summer breeze of the lake and watch the sunset. Just 6.5 kilometers off the coast of Tobermory lies Flower Pot Island. This island is one of Canada's most fascinating natural attractions. Flower Pot Island is famous for its natural sea stacks, also known as the Flower Pots. Flower Pot Island offers adventurers an opportunity to explore caves, hiking trails, a historic light station, and a variety of rare plants. Flower Pot Island is the only island in the Fathom 5 National Marine Park with campsites and hiking trails. The island is only accessible by boat, and there are two tour companies in Tobermory that offer ferries to the island. If you're lucky enough to book one of the six campsites available, you're able to enjoy the peace and quiet of having the whole island to yourself once the last tour boat leaves. After enjoying a quiet Saturday night with only four other people on the island, I decided to get up early, pack my things, and take one of the first ferries off the island. My trip was not scheduled to leave until 1.30, but since no one else is leaving the island that early in the morning, there was plenty of room for them to accommodate me. The trip back to Tobermory is direct with no stops and you're just able to sit and enjoy the ride. I personally will not do this trip again, as I found the island to be far too busy during the day and it was not the experience I was hoping for. While the nights were calm and peaceful, there are no other trails or accessible parts of the island to escape to during the day. With all that said, I did really enjoy the experience, the sights and the scenery and the landscape of Flower Pot Island. Thank you to Parks Canada and Bruce Anchor Tours for the hospitality.